this camera. Are you filming? Yep. I stand corrected. We've brought the uh, the monster. Because we've got some, I think as Dad's mentioned a few times, we've got some concrete to get through to get these posts in. Yeah. It's a bit bare looking, isn't it? That was just showing these his, um, action figures. Yeah, what we brought today. We've brought the uh, the monster. Because we've got some, I think as Dad's mentioned a few times, we've got some concrete to get through to get these posts in. Yeah, I don't think we need to take the concrete out. <coughs> we just need to go through it. I was going to say we don't have to take it all out, do we? Just no, we just have to replace it. We took it out, so we just go through it. Just whole sized concrete. Yeah, yeah. and then. Um, so I, th I think Dad's give you the rundown that we're we're here now. No, I haven't. Oh well, the plan was we were going to go to Leyland first to go get the fencing materials, but um, this morning we realised the van was too full, like way too full. I'll put it this way: last time we went to go get five fence panels for my uncle, we only had the mixer in there, and it was too much. So. Because they're five foot, they don't stand up, so they've got to go on an angle to take up a lot of room. Yeah. So. We've got a few jobs to sort out now. Yeah. So we've, we've said we've just said come here, drop off all our rubbish that we had, and then we're gonna gut the van out, have the garage closed behind us. Finish the bits of pointing. Yes. I'm gonna get this all finished up, which uh, looks a lot better than it did. But it's not falling down now. No. So get the get all this finished. Get all the little nitpicky bits finished. Maybe get a hole dug because it's like it's nearly nearly nine o'clock now. Yeah, nine o'clock now. So we may as well get all this done and let the uh, morning traffic die down for a bit because we've got two panels, two bases, two, two bases, posts. two posts, and um, two panels, post, two panels, post. I was going to fix it to that. And um, I'm going to put a post in now. Any bags of um, four bags of post mix. Four. Should be five, depending, just in case. In case the hole's going to be small, aren't they, because we're going through the concrete. Don't, not, do you know when you're digging, with the, digging soil, the hole always goes bigger? Yeah. Well, this isn't. True. It's post there, look. Well, there you go. Uh, I'll stop blabbering now, because that's two minutes of a uh, yap. So, uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Um, put ourselves a new tub, on brand, orange. I know everything else is red, but our original colours were orange. So I'm going to mix a little bit up. Oh, I have a coffee. Yeah, mix a little bit up because there's um, Alex's done most of the point in here. There's just three halves to go back on top there and a couple of little holes to fill in there and then the patching around the outside so I won't need much. Probably don't need the mixer for it but I just want to show off. Yeah. It's easy to do it hand mixed. So while I'm doing that, you're doing? Um, the customer has this some rendering under the door and the customer asked what was happening with it and because it's all just rendered we're just going to knock it off and no she has to we can fix it because Mr Skyman's come along and put his sky cable into it and it's as he's put the nails into the render the render's just fell off ah well it's, but, it's under the damp course so you do not render below damp course because damp because it stays damp and it you've got the um, the frost and thaw action so when the brickwork's wet the render will get wet and in the winter the wet freezes and when water freezes it expands so it's just Pops all the render off. I'll just show you the sky cable. So I'm taking, so I'm taking all that off. Yeah. And then repointing any issues. So maybe do, maybe do like a six and a one and a half. Oh no, we're doing eight. Six two. one one. Hmm? Six one oh, one's yeah, a mix because we're doing lime. Six one one. Oh. Sky cable comes through there. He's took it through all the joists. Morning, fine, thank you. That was a, a call from Leeds. I see, see him will do some work. <laughs> the, the joys of YouTube. So, I put him onto Marquette by the way, because it marks over that way. So, 
the cable comes in through all the joists the truck comes along here along the roof bar down the frame under the sill through the wall then it goes out along the sill up the brickwork over the top of that over there and down there under there where that is right in my way back up the frame there along the conservatory along the conservatory roof down to the dish we were joking saying he must be getting paid per meter for his cable the, the, um, the journey he's took was I bet half a kilometre of cable there so um, yeah he, he did take an under and nail it into the render and it's just, the render is poor anyway so it's just popped the render off so I was just taking it off and tidying it up customer's just a bit concerned about it so we're, we're sorting that out and we'll probably just fill these couple of holes in here as well these here while we're here Oh, Sorry, Paul. There you go. Can't believe it took this long to get one of them. Ridiculous. But look at that. Probably a third of the time is hand mixing. Easier than hand mixing. Better mix. So that's plenty we've got for what we're doing. There's probably a better patch where Alex is. Oh, right. Tiny bit through here, tiny bit outside. So we're going to end up wasting a lot less. Because you, when you're using the mixer, half a mix is probably the minimum size you want to do. And then you don't need that much. Looking good. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the bit looks not perfect under there, but it's better than under the end of Al. There's a couple of holes here, we'll patch up while we're at it. Yeah. Right, so we've just got in. Um, the alarm's just gone off, so we've got a call with a potential sponsor for the channel. And if this one comes off, it's going to be big. And we're quite excited about this one. I mean, we made it with more, but this is completely different. This is not tools related. This is completely different. So um, we're going to go on this call and see what happens. And if, if everything's worked out, then you will see soon what's happening.
time lapsed all of that, but I'll uh, probably edit that down. <laughs> They're all joint, all pointed, all flushed up. Rubbed up the sponge, this side's jointed to match existing. So we've got a nice strong corner on there now. Just a shame about that edge, with the bricks being different sizes. But, um, yeah, never mind. Bit of silicon will sort that out, or even a thin. But there's a fence post going in here as well, so which we need to get cracking on quite soon. So there's one going against the house, and one going pretty much where that one is. We'll have to check that measurement, but that's pretty much where it is. There's just a little bit of point to do over there, which Alex is going to do. And then, nice job under there. He tidied all that up for the customer. Bit of a mess, we sorted that. Don't mind doing a little extra bit like that while we're here. And then there's just a bit of pointing up the door there. So I'm going to start making a big hole here. So let's get it set up. One little hiccup there with a big piece of stone in the way, but we just broke through that the breaker. The big fella took us through the top of concrete, then the breaker took us through the that one took us through the oh there is, it took us through the bits, and then that took us through the rest. So we have 21 inch for a post, so we've got 21 inches. I'm glad it's 21 because that's the foundation. Obviously, we don't start digging past the foundation, so I thought we might have to cut the post, but we don't. That's bang on. And I've dug out a bit there, so we've got some concrete going underneath, and the post is going flush with the wall. So yeah, happy days. We can start on this one now. This one's going to be a rascal because there is a post. We could um, swap them, but I think full one and then a piece would look a bit stupid. So we're keeping them all full and a piece at the end. So I'm going to start making, getting this thing out. Not too worried having this thing. So let's crack on.
Dad's been a busy chap. That hole's nearly finished. One scoop. One scoop. Happy days. So after he's done that, we'll get all this stuff put in the garage and then we'll uh, go and grab some fencing stuff. It wasn't just me, I did it. I had two friends. I've been, uh, I've got all the shelves broken up and put in the skip. Cool. So I've been tidying up in that garage. I've not been doing nothing before anyone says. Yeah, so uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you after we'll catch you after lunch and probably see you in uh, Leyland. I'm gonna leave the gear in here. It's about half one. Yeah, we've had a lot of chewing and throwing and emails and phone calls today, so a lot of um, admin to do regarding this new sponsorship, which is looking good. S stay tuned for more news on that. So we're now in a position where. Uh, It's time to go and get the fence. Hold on. Both holes done. Which are easier than I thought. You can see where the, um, the concrete foundation's cracked away from the concrete there. How rubbish it was. And how soft, soft black soil underneath. So it was a poor foundation. That's why the, the wall moved. And that's why it pulled the corner out of this wall. So um, we're just going to tidy up now. Cover the two holes up because they have kids next door on this house. So don't any kids falling down the holes. And I might just put the water put over there and that over there. So yeah. We're gonna go off to Leyland and we're gonna go off to Welsh's to get the fences. Welsh's um a fencing company deliver UK wide and they manufacture everything so they make the posts, they make the bases, they make the panels. But anyway, it's enough of that. And we're gonna nip to berries and get some insulation while we're up in Leyland. So by the time we've done all that we're going to go straight home, come back in the morning, half seven, and get this fence done. We might just need a bit of fettling here, it looks like the ground goes up, so we're going to have to chop that out for the, the panel to sit down a bit. Because um, it, like I say, it comes across on an angle there, to here, and then it goes straight to there. So yeah, that's, um, that's it for today. Oh yeah, and then just need to multi-tool this and push it back and re-nail it. So, um, and it just needs resealing then. So we'll see you in Leyland. Good morning. Wednesday, innit? Yes. Wednesday the 24th of July. Where did July go? And we've just uh, forgot to film. So we've got the two posts in. We've got our base in. Before you put that in, mate. We might have to take that ground down a bit, so... It looks like it runs up a bit, we might have to take a bit of the concrete out. So we, we, um, we had a bit of an adventure, so we set off from here to, for Leyland. Went to Berries, because they have a toilet, and um, got, the, got some insulation, because we always need insulation for our little jobs. We ran out? Yeah, we ran out completely. Didn't have enough on the porch. And um, Headed off to Welsh's just across Leyland and uh, pulled up at the gates, they were closed. It wasn't lunchtime, it was uh, the summer shutdown, which I've never heard for a, a long time, summer shutdown. So, um, what was it? Um, either, either we can try and lift it. I think we'd better lift it because if we drop that, we've got to cut all that concrete out as well. Yeah, and yeah. all this concrete's got to go if it's... Uh, yeah. So I think we're better the best lifting it. Well, we'll take that. So we'll find the highest point on the concrete then, and work back off that. And then we can always, because it's on top of concrete, we'll pack it and then just point underneath it. Yeah. So well, she's we shut down for the summer break, so we had to have a have plan B. So we drove back past it, past berries, and went to Fairwoods. So the lads at Fairwoods loaded us up. Simon and the new lad. I don't know what the new lad's called, but. Um, I know Simon watches the video, so hi Simon. Um, that's, the, that's the highest point. I can knock that off, that's high, isn't it? Yeah. See, the, the biggest lumps we'll take, we'll just take off and then work back. Yeah, that's more to that. Yeah, so because it's concrete, we're going to, instead of cutting into the concrete, we're going to work back. Because if we've got a little bit of room on the post there, let's just step it up a little bit. That's a bad smell, that. What is it the last couple of days? Smells everywhere. Can't smell anything from down here. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's today's job. And then just a few little things like um, multi tool on that, push it back, seal it. Why um, multi tool again? Hey. Why multi tool? Because it I need to go round the brick. Ah. And then it'll sit back. Then might even cut a bit out of this as well, so it goes right back to the window. Well, isn't it just temporary to Neil? Well, it's something Neil doesn't have to do. It's mainly the window ne Neil needs to do. Right, so um, let's get a fettle of this and get this fence up. Always something in there. <laughs> Just set ourselves up, leveling it all through. And then when we come to this end, checked it all. The um, our panel's going to be sticking out about this side, which is cardinal sin. You do not have your timber sticking out above your post. You can't do that. So we've got to take everything down. So we've got to cut the corner off these flags because we're coming across an angle, and take a channel out the concrete now. And it's probably about probably 100 mil out of that concrete, about three and a half inches out of this, and just the edge off the flags, a bit of soil taken out. Alex's face sums it up. It wasn't. It's not a quick chuck it in and we're off. We're supposed to be sorting this um, sponsorship video out this afternoon, but we'll just have to. And uh, it's um, it's cutting as well. We're just gonna have to make a bit of dust. There's no washing out at the moment, so. There's a towel. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get that far over. And if it does, just stand there with the blow and blow it out of the way. Yeah, let's get this done. There's no use moping about it and he's doing, so let's just get it done. Right, little update. As you can see, how the gravel is buried. We've gone down. We've got a nice channel up now. And then I've just checked the base panel. Put the right now. That's not a foot. But uh, these are usually a foot. Don't know why that isn't, but it's 11 inches. So I've gone down too bloody far. Which isn't the end of the world because we can just pack it up. But, um, at least we're down, down down far enough. I'm going to see about stepping this one up because you're losing the height of the fence here. Mind you, that's it's still high, isn't it? It's still high enough because we're coming up to there. Right. So we need. Is it five foot exactly? Five foot, including the decorative feature at the top. Oh, the cap. Yeah. Right. So we need it. We need five foot eleven to the bottom, don't we? Right. And then we'll level off that. So we're going to measure down right, right from the, the, the bottom here, bottom of the point, down five foot eleven. And um, we got, we did a fence once and we absolutely ridiculed because we left the ball at the top and not a point. Well, our fence posts don't have points. They're both balls. They both have balls. So we so it's this fence is going to be a balls up fence. So. Right, let's get this in. And once we've got this one set up, we can measure that and cut that out. That concrete's a bit thicker there. But this is where the, the wall's sunk, because that concrete's only four inches and it's on soil, so that's why the wall moved. So let's get this set up now.
There we go. Is it a prop? I stand corrected. That's because I did neat holes this time. Not big bomb craters. The hole's even smaller. You want to put a little bit more in this one? Oh yeah, We've got half a bag, haven't we? That's yeah. We always top them up. We we'll get the one bag in each post. Oh, lovely! Stick in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen. <laughs> in the garage. I will grab it. Yeah, thank you. Rather than lift, step it up, we'll keep it level and cut the channel out. It's a good height, that. Nice. Okay. Steve, Stevie D and Jay, you be proud of us. Look at that. She got the ball. <laughs> more water first now. Yeah. A bit more water first. Yeah. Right, uh, so once this is in. Do you want more water? Are you alright? Um, I'm okay for now, thank you. Sure. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, once this is once this is done now, we'll um, head off and get a break. Got um, just had a coffee made, so we'll be back to this in a bit. Our first power tool off Milwaukee. Our trusty 12 volt multi tool. That's what it's called then. So we need to get that off there. Yeah, that needs probably trimming off there as well so that goes back to the so yeah we need to take off there too I'll sort that out thank you I'm gonna take this one That's a good guess. Can we nail in there? We haven't got any poly nails, so I don't know. A screw would be better, but yeah, we'll just stick to the nails. Put a bit of silicon around there, a bit of clear down there. I think the speed change anyway. That's better. Save Neil doing it. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, though. Not bad. Still really need that change with me eventually. Yeah. That. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. I think I'll just run a bit of silicon down there. This is a um, problem with nine inch walls. See this brick here, these two are good size and then you, you follow your half in line and then you get small bricks which is a bit short. So you get this effect which is a pity but nothing we can do about it. That's the thing with 9 inch walls, you just govern by the length of the bricks and these we, we only had, well we didn't have any spare bricks did we? No. 
We have to uh, scratch over the wall. Yeah. I'll just check now. As I said yesterday, we're down to the foundation there, so we need to take two and a half inches off the bottom of the post. So we'll take that off, take this groove out, and then we'll cut the panel down. But we'll do the panel last. We need to get the post in place first. So we're, we're just trying to make some room to lie it down and get it cut. There you go, 120 mil straight through. Well, slightly less because it's fell off there, but I'm pretty sure it would have gone right through. But that's the depth, that's the depth of that blade. Fantastic. Right, let's get that post into position. Is it going flat against the wall or? Yeah. Flash against the corner and flush against the edge. So just slot right into the corner. Oh, yes. Yeah, hold that a sec. We'd better, to follow, we'd better follow the wall, not the flag, wouldn't we? Yeah. That's not a good idea. Infection, banging, kicking someone with the toe, toe caps on. They don't keep kicking it then. Pass the. Uh... Anyway, anyway. Check the plumb first. The one, the one's not plumb, is it? Right, you can stay that way. Yeah. Like you say, you can't, you can't get it right if the floor's not right. You can't polish your turd. No. It's not going any further at the bottom. No. You got it? Yeah. That's the camera. Filming us. Move that. Yeah. Oh, you need it. Yeah. Should really put a six-foot post up with a belt like that, should you? Huh. Yeah, that's really One hour. Didn't give me a discount, but he saved me saved me eight quid.
turn your coat off. That wants to go down, and that wants to go up. before it drops, that's it. Side, or it just looks shit. I'll have to get a bar underneath it or something. Throw some. A bar that we don't have. Throw some crap underneath it. We'll sort that out last when I get back before we put the stones in. They're in. This one's low. So I've got and got some 10 mil limestone to put down that gap. I don't want to seal it. I'll just put some limestone to tidy up. Because um, I don't want to seal the bases in, in case they need adjusting. So we can put some stone in there and lift that up slightly and bring it up level to the shoulders of the post, which is going to look a lot better. So I'm just going to start brushing up down this side and we're going to start loading the van to get out of here. It's just after 12 o'clock. We've been sat in the van too long as usual, so they're just getting a quick dinner and getting out of here. So, anyway, let's, um, let's crack on. There you have it, one patched up garage side and one wall demolished and replaced with two fence panels, two concrete panels and two posts. Whew, took a little bit longer than uh, we expected it to but that's always the case isn't it? What we got there in the end and it's a, uh, D and J would say not too shabby. There we go, I'll show you it from the back as well. We've all, we um don't have dad mentioned but we give it a little backfill with some uh, limestone. 
Obviously, Dad's just moved all the stuff back. I didn't want to point it in mortar or concrete because then they're stuck then, aren't they? At yeah. least they can be moved or whatever. Yeah. They're not per well, it's permanent, but you know what I mean. Stone looks a bit better anyway. Cleaner. Whole thing looks better now. So that will be it for us. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. Massive help and we really appreciate the support. This has been Brick Laying and Fencing with Steve and Alex and we will see you in the next one.